Alright, we're back, and due to my own ineptitude, I just recorded an entire hour, which is also, you know, why, what I was talking about, don't re don't save in the middle of recordings. Um, I just recorded an entire fucking hour of this with no sound, no game sound, no voice, nothing. It's just me running around um, with no sound. So that was quite terrible, so now I'm going to redo it all. However, in the interest of time, there will be fast-forwarding... Um, when I'm walking around. I won't be fast-forwarding during text or anything like that. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna slowly walk around. I just wasted a fucking hour doing nothing, basically. So now I need to redo it, which is kind of terrible, but this is why you do tests. Um, sad phase. Also, I said a whole bunch of funny stuff, probably, but now y'all won't ever get to hear it. Oh, dear. Also, Bashful's being a, a dick to Dopey here. Then again, I hate Dopey, so whatever. Also, Koja's gone. I don't know where he went, but you'll see later. I've already seen it, but you know, spoilers, etc., etc. Um, yep. Look at that. That super speed there. We're super quick at that running around. So basically, you just you just go in the auction house. You talk to the princess, and she will follow you. Um, this guy sells potions and stuff. Yep, there's a chest over here there on the bottom right. That's one gill. Um, I don't know what that is, but it's one gill, so I'm just going to leave it there. It might be like a special treasure chest or something. Um, and there's also something I forgot to show you, which uh, I'm going to now because I actually might want to buy some stuff from it. This is the monster arena place I was talking about. See that there's a monster down there that you can fight? I'm not going to fight him now because, quite frankly, it will rape my face. But what I did want to look at is getting some of this stuff. I could get an ice staff. Not really interested, though. What I do want is some bone wrists. Um, I want... what is it? I want a bandana. It's always good. And then I want mithril gloves, and that'll be it for now, because I'm poor. And we're going to continue being poor for a while. Now hopefully this time the actual voice is working, which I should probably do a test, but I can't be bothered to do a test. That's going to be skipping around a whole lot in the recording, I'm pretty sure, but whatever. You can deal with it, because I just dealed with an hour of wasted fucking time. But anyway, you go into this inn here, and you can you can see this little little tidbit, 10,000 gil reward to whoever catches the, this, this dude with red hair, and you'll see him later. Um, I, we might have already seen him, you never know. You'll see him later. Um, and Marcus says we're ready to retrieve it. Yes, I'm ready as he runs along being a douche, as everybody ignores him. So yay! And we're going to continue ignoring Dopey. Also, I just kind of skipped through that on accident, but he says it could be a trap. It's a tarp. I do know that breaking and enters, entering is a crime. Thank you. I'm a princess. That's what I do. There's no crimes, I guess. I don't know. Details. Don't you talk back to me. He doesn't know why he's here. Again. I'm pretty sure I said that last time I recorded, but no one's ever going to hear it. Which makes me sad. Hello, Kuja. What does that sound? Something outside my house or something. Um, the elephant lady offends his senses. I kind of like Kuja, except he's he's the clothing he wears. He's probably gay, but he has some music that reminds me of the Shinra theme from Final Fantasy VII. So it's very ominous. It also has that that drum beat in the background. And 
he will be heading to Clara, and he's trusting this auctioneer to deliver something. <laughs> Shall I arrange a meeting with the pretty lady? Uh, a little backstory I read on Kuja says he's a huge fan of I want to be your canary, so he, he likes using canary as the term for the princess. Fly home to your mother, my little canary. And then suddenly dark. With no music. So apparently Kuja's home is where her, the princess's mother is. And we get a little dual monologue here for this part with the um, with Dopey and the princess. Dopey and Bashful. They kind of question what they're doing here. You are assisting thieves, you fool. Kuja is the good reason for that. I'll probably never see him again. I don't know who the him he's referring to, it's probably me. Uh, Mr. Monkey. So... If you hadn't treated me like a child, I wouldn't be here saving your friends. That makes perfect sense. Why are you doing this? Sorry. Yawned there. Probably shouldn't yawn in the middle of recordings. It's not professional. But I don't give a rat's ass, so... Whatevs. I wish I hadn't wait, wasted an hour of fucking recording this and then nothing gets done. I would have had a whole bunch of this recorded, which would have been great, but no. Had to fucking set the recorder up wrong. Also, some of you might be asking, Sleepy, where's black and white? Um, due to my windows reinstall, there's a bird guy. It's a scholarly man. Due to my windows reinstall, um, I have to get back to the point I was before off camera or off screen and then uh, we can start recording again once I get there but for now I need to uh, to get back to that point and this scholarly man has run out of ink I'm not sure how he doesn't see us but Bashful appears to know him hello Dr. Tot Indeed. Dopey is never quiet, Tot. That's just not how that works. The, the first thing he says is, we're not here to steal or commit crime. That's a great way to make people suspicious. Whoops, I skipped over that. He says, run along and I'll give you the super stuff later. So you have to go left from the Trino entrance and continue until you find a large tower. He means the the actual entrance inside the town, not outside the town, by the way. It's the only place in uh, Trino we have not been yet. Hello, shopkeeper. Okay. Tootsie is going to give a super sop. It's top. I like their boss just because he never gets anyone's name right. It's fantastic. Toot, it's top. It's it's still top. <laughs> he said Ted this time. See, that's why I like him. He, do he doesn't get people's names right. Alright, actually, go back in there. Because I'm going to sleep. Sleep? Yes, thank you. I'm just going to sleep in the doorway, because that's how we fucking roll. 
There you go. I just slept right behind you. How does that make you feel? Alright, now then. I am going to actually go outside of town, because we can do that now. I'm going to set up everyone's equipment and stuff on screen. Um, if it ever fucking loads. There we go. I'm going to set up everyone's equipment with you guys. That one's still doing stuff. Bandana. And we have um, Auto Potion, which is good, and Ability Up, which is also good. I'm going to give Ability Up to uh, the princess here, so she can learn stuff faster. I'm also going to give Power Belt to Dopey for the time being. I'm also going to leave everything else there because he can't learn anything. And Marcus doesn't matter because he can't learn anything. He cannot learn any abilities in the game as far as I know, so that's that. Um, I'm gonna make sure everyone's set up. And we want we want level up to stay there. We'll take cover and all this stuff off and put counter on just for you know those occasional happenstances where he actually does something useful. And we'll set that up like so. So everyone should be good there. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna start grinding. And I will see you guys when we get back or when I get back. You ha you guys have not seen this enemy. Uh, it's a special enemy, as you can tell by the music. He'll ask for an item, and basically you just have to throw that item at him. He asked for ore, we have ore, so we'll throw it at him. And he gives you 10 AP and an item, I believe, and I think he might give you some gil. And he says, give my regards to Ladybug. I don't know who Ladybug is, it's probably another type of enemy, but... Um, there you go, and you get 10 AP. And you learn a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you get some gill and a high potion, as if you fought. You don't get any experience, though, but 10 AP is a fair chunk. But um, Anyway, back to grinding. I'll be back. Okie dokie, and we're back. So we're gonna go to the left, like we were told to. And we go... And this is his tower, the only place we haven't been. And there's a treasure chest. With a mithril dagger. Yay, something I'm not going to use. That's exciting. Also, if you're gonna grind outside of this town, be careful and don't go too far away from the town. Um, if you go too far to the... I don't even know what the hell direction that is, but if you go towards where the, uh, the jungled areas are, there are a group of enemies that you can run into that will completely demolish you if you're not careful. Uh, if they hit you with one of their attacks, it's a one-hit kill, so you gotta really be careful around them. He lives here. A straight arrow indeed. A disturbingly straight arrow, some might say. Don't mind if I do. Yuki, there's nothing up there. I've already been through this part, so just talk to him. This is indeed Gaia. Just like before with that old glow. Actually, no, you guys haven't seen that. You're about to, though. There we go. I'm getting ahead of myself. I believe this is uh, a uh, foreshadowing, by the way. What he's talking about is kind of a foreshadowing. Because he's explaining something that we don't know about yet. And it's Garnet in child form. Not that she's really an adult at this point. I think Garnet's, what, like 16 or something in this game? Not really sure. Were you reading big books again? And apparently Tot has read every single book in that library. That's a little ridiculous. She's like five or six or something. Well, actually not five or six, probably six or seven or something around that age. And she says, oh, but I was quite taken by that book you gave me. That's quite a fancy sentence, wasn't it? <laughs> I 
So there is a book I like after all. That's a globe of Gaia. Kind of like the one we just saw earlier, except smaller. And apparently your castle is shaped like a sphere. Excuse me. Confusion. As Tot wanders off and begins talking about something completely different. Good job, Tot. Where's my room on this globe? So actually, she was 8, if my proper assumption that she's 16 now is correct. She looks a little young for 8 in that last scene, though. I'm not really sure, though. What Abe's? Looking up at the sky from inside a globe. I want to know if there's markings inside the globe. He's got, like, a map inside of his globe. It's interesting. Forever and always. That's a song. I don't remember the lyrics, though. Probably just forever and always. Repeated a bunch. I shall see to it that you reach Alexandria. How magic. Okay, we have to go that way. And apparently he's coming with us. Because he can re reach Blank more easily from Alexandria, which makes sense. It's really that's that uh, forest really isn't that far from Alexandria itself, or at Alexandria Castle. Let's go save Blank. So up we go. Does he tell us anything? Please be equipped for battle. That's a little hint that you're going to be fighting something, and indeed you are. You're going to be fighting a boss down here. So beware of that, and you're going to be fighting random encounters, I believe, so you can actually grind down here too, which I will do for a little bit. Um, nothing crazy though. An ancient travel route between Trino and Alexandria. Call the Gargant. Indeed. And there's a Moogle, so you can save here. Um, and then random encounter right next to the Moogle, which is always a good sign. Um, I'm going to do a small amount of grinding here, but I'm going to show you these fights. Well, at least some of the fights. We're going to fight a worm, which is fantastic. Not going to bother stealing. Stomach. What? He hit me with his stomach. That's interesting. Shouldn't be too difficult. Freaking bashful staff looks like a broom. Whoa, is that staff range? That's a good staff then. A hundred damage from her is like exceptionally good. So. Yeah, these people give way better XP than the guys up top. They're also harder though, so you gotta you gotta balance that. But, let's go over to the left here, before I start grinding, and let's check out all the stuffs we can do. There's a bunch of treasure chests here, obviously. And a thing. Pull the lever? Yes, please. And we pulled a lever. What that did, I don't know. But we can go to the right, and see what's over here. There is the sequence to get the creature to come to you. It's a feed button. It's quite aptly named. It quite literally feeds your transportation. And this thing. What is this thing? And it's a back attack. Fantastic. I hate back attacks so much. Fyra. He has a level 2 fire spell. This might hurt. I used it on Bashful. Eh, that's not bad. Do I want to waste time? Not really. Third, that wasn't nearly as good as the other one. Ten damage?